I'm making over 2,500 ads every single year for our clients. And that's just static in videos. If it is for UGC, we're talking hundreds, if not thousands more yearly done for six, seven and eight figure e-commerce brands. Now, with that being said, there are some common points around some of our best performing ads. And I want to break those down on one of our client ad accounts in today's video. Now, if you're new to the channel, you don't yet know who I am. My name is Justin and I'm the founder at paidadvertising.com, an online marketing growth firm specializing in elevating thriving brands by simplifying e-commerce growth. So with that being said, let's get straight into today's video. That said, this client you see on screen right now, they've been with us for about 13 months at this point. We actively spent about thirty to $50,000 a month on ads. This is one of their ad account. They have a second ad account on Meta also with us. Why? This client actually is selling uh, sexual like healthcare products for women. So at times their ad accounts may get banned. So therefore we've uh, split the risk in our ad spend over two ad accounts in itself. So I want to analyze some of those ad creatives with you today because for that client right now, as you can see, like in terms of platform reported ROAS, the last 14 days were 3.74, which is very healthy considering that's like $16,000 in ad spend over 14 days. It's a little bit above $1,000 in ad spend on one ad account. Once again, they have two ad accounts. So we're spending about one to two grand a day right now on Facebook on this account specifically. With that being said, right now, I'm actually using Atria's creative analytics tool. A link to Atria in itself is going to be in the description down below if you to check them out. But what I'm doing right now is I want to show you like all the patterns we can notice in an ad account like this. So here, first of all, look at how much ad spend we have attributed to videos versus statics. So a lot more video based than statics. Now, age and gender. Well, first of all, it's primarily all female. I mean, our campaigns are limited to like uh, the, the, the female only. Um, we have like 25 to 34 being our, our main demographic, uh, 35 to 44 being our second one, 18 to 24 or third one. That's something that we like. Something to tell you too, as a business owner, advertising for the 25 to 44 demographic, it is a demographic with some considerate disposable income, some adult money, if you want, versus the 18 to 24, which eh, they don't have that much money here in itself. It's look, look at this also, which I found like very interesting, like the amount of ad spend that Facebook automatically allocates the mobile versus desktop and how much of it is on Facebook versus Instagram, which is pretty much a 50 50 split between IG and Facebook and a 99.9% .9 of the ad spend on mobile in itself. Now the creative tax that were automatically added by AI are the following. I'm going to skip that and head over to the our creative stats. Why? Because this is the point of this video. What makes a good creative, right? Like what are the commonalities amongst the top ads that we have here, right? Well, first of all, let me show you this. You've seen that this is a primarily video centric account. Okay. Then when we look at those videos, look at the hooks. Those are our creatives with the top amount of ad spent in the last 14 days. One of them spent 1.3K, 1.3K, 1.4, 3K right here on this creative, you know, 500 bucks, 179, so on and so forth. Okay. Look at the hook rates. Tom stop ratio on these creatives, 43%, 40%, 39, 38. I see people talking online saying that you should have a hook rate higher than 10% or 20%. Look, very good ads have a super high hook rate. Okay. And this client is, one could argue it's quote unquote easy because again, it's a sexual healthcare client. So there's a lot of very wild hooks that we can make, but let me show you an example of that. So I'm going to play the ad right now, just the hook in itself. First of all, okay, you can clearly see that again, this is something that would hook someone in. Why? Because who the hell is there on my screen fingering an orange, right? But second of all, you cannot hear it right now on YouTube, but this actually is an ASMR video. So you like the voice in the background is a man's voice. Would you hear that whisper exactly like this? Now, with that being said, when it comes to that whisper, it was entirely done with AI. 11 Labs had just released recently an ASMR line of voices. So you can choose from one of their ASMR voices and have someone whisper just like that. So <laughs> enough ASMR for this video, but just to say that creates for some very interesting opportunities, which is what we noticed right here. This is a brand new ad that we launched again two weeks ago, and it quickly became the brand new winning ad on this account in itself. Somewhat of a wild hook, the statement, you know, my girl bought these Yoni products and I cannot get enough of her in itself. Um, themes that were automatically tagged, I guess, by the algorithm. Somehow it's like before and after feature and benefits and problem solution, which I don't think they're that accurate. Um, all things considered, like looking at it, it's less of a before and after. I mean, you could argue it's like more what my night uh, or like my, my, my nights with my you know girlfriend used to look before this product and then after this product. So you could say it's a before and after in itself, but all things considered hook rate 
I really want to emphasize that. I'm one to say this is a soft metric, meaning what I want to say is there's not always a direct correlation between thumb stop ratio and a ne necessary like higher ROAS, but there usually is a positive one. Okay. It's the start of the ad. If you don't catch someone's attention at the very least for the first three seconds on a video ad, very unlikely they're even going to bother continuing watching or, you know, perhaps clicking on the ad in itself. So that's a very important metric. So right here, you can see super high hook rate or thumb stop ratio, very big thing in our top performers. And I use something called fundamental analysis, which is the name of our process in the agency to create those ads. The way you create an ad with fundamental analysis is literally this client. Again, we've produced hundreds. I think we're at like 200 concepts now produced in the last 12 months of working together. So if we do some quick math together, you know, 200 concepts over about 12 months, we produce about 16 original ad concepts a month, which doesn't count like our variations. If we produce like three variations per concept, we produce about like 50 ads a month for that client. Okay. In the last year. So in other words, like this client alone is responsible for like about 600 ads produced in a given yearly period. Okay. So going back to HR right now, and someone might look at those headlines that we've had in our ads, like our top performing headlines and think there's not a lot of thought behind it. Well, I beg to differ. What fundamental analysis allows us to do is we first start by doing thorough research. We look at competitors data and owned data, two sources of data. Okay. Own data. It's like ads manager. It's this, what I'm showing you right now. This is like my data. This is my client's data. I can look at this and interpret this in order to make more variations, which is easy if a business already has stuff in their ads manager. But if you're a new advertiser and you don't, then what do you look at market data, competitors, websites, their ad libraries. And believe it or not, everything that you can see right here, although that this, a lot of this is like given to me by AI, I can see a lot of this stats about the fundamentals of the creative on the ads library itself. So as an example, assuming I am selling supplements, what I can do is I can open up somebody else's ad library, a competitor, perhaps. So let's just say Obvi is a competitor of mine. Well, I can actually save all their ads. So again, if I wanted to, I could go to Atria, I could make a board, I could save one of my competitors ads and save every single ad they have. And then what I would do is I would build a Google sheet where I'm going to do columns. So I'm going to have, let's say copy in one column that I'm going to have headline in another column. And then guess what? You can also actually take like the transcript of a given ad. So through AI and various softwares, you can actually get the transcript of a video ad. So an example of that, like I can go to HR right here. I can go HR AI, like transcribe the script in itself. And then it's going to give me the exact transcript of a video ad. So if I'm doing that with, let's say an ad that I'm getting from Avi, I'm saving it to HR, I'm getting the transcript. Now I would make a Google sheet where I have copy in one column. And then I have headline in the second column. And let me show an example of that in action. I would fill up all the variables you see on screen, which basically is like looking into this. Okay. What is the product advertised in itself? Well, I can kind of read through and I say a collagen product. Okay, cool. Collagen. Great. Then product, I would write collagen. Now, what is the market desire? I'll get back to that. What's the persona? I'll get back to that benefit. I'll get back to that. What is clear to me right now is I can put into a sheet, like what you're seeing on screen right now, at the very least, like the ad copy, the ad headline, the entire script. If it's a video ad, the creative type. So I can say, Hey, it's a video ad. And then it's where it gets interesting. I can ask AI questions around this ad. Let me show an example. So as an example, what I can do, and I'm going to do it like once with you today, but like, this is something you can do at scale to create these winning ads. And that's like, and again, this is the process that I call fundamental analysis is I got an ad like this. And this is how I'm able to create those winning ads. Those ads that just stand out out of the hundreds of ads we might test follow this exact process. As I go here, I go to chat GPT, I'll make a new thread and I'll give it all the information about this ad. So let me transcribe the actual script right here. I'm going to copy the actual ad, copy, copy the headline and start asking it questions to fill out my research center. And then here's what I come out with, right? It's like, I filled out part of my document right here. And then I just did it with one ad. Once again, you could have like filled out this entire document or make yourself like whatever sheet you want on your side and fill it out with like all the pillars you want to track of your competitors ads. You track down these pillars and then you put them to chat GPT. And then what I tell it is like, Hey, you are an expert marketer. Your role is to help me analyzing competitors ads to understand its fundamentals. Here's a Facebook ad of my competitor. I want you to analyze ad copy. There you go. Script of the actual UGC video. With that in mind, who would you say is a target persona? What is the mass market desire in this ad? What is the awareness level of this following Eugene Schwartz marketing fundamental principles? And then boom, it gives you very accurate information, target persona information, mass market desire. So feeling confident and comfortable with one's body awareness level. So it's most likely solution aware because of X, Y, and Z. And it makes sense. And what I want you to do is do that a hundred times over. 
make yourself a document like that. Only go to your competitors ad libraries and start looking into some of the oldest ads that they have. Scroll all the way down as much as you can. Chances are the oldest ads that they have that are still active today, right? I always make sure that the active status is active on the ad library. Then it, it tells you that like, this is most likely a profitable ad, right? Because they've been running a lot of ad spend to it for a long period of time. So therefore they would have killed it already if it wasn't a profitable ad. And then what you do is then you end up putting all of these ads to the same prompt on GPT. You use HGO to extract a script and then you put them into a spreadsheet. And now the fun begins. You start doing pattern recognition. So again, a lot of information is blurred on screen right now, but that's like what I call the research center of one of our clients. Well, if you would have filled this out with a hundred ads that you've exported using the ad library, looking at old ads, put them into Atria, got the script, analyze them with GPT. Then you went back to your sheet and then you put all the mass market desire, the awareness level and the market sophistication. You end up with a list of hundred plus ads. And you know the fundamental, that's why it's called fundamental analysis. You now know the fundamental pillars behind this ad. You know, you probably heard this quote where people say like, good marketers copy, great ones steal. Where that's to me the backbone of it. Because if I just went into the ad library and I just took this ad and I just did the exact same thing, I do not understand its success. Like if I just copy Obvi right here and then I make an ad about Obvi, then all of a sudden I am reliant on Obvi success. If Obvi starts, if they stop like creating performing ads, then therefore my own ads too will fail. I'm entirely dependent on them. Whereas if I take some of their ads, I reverse engineer them through fundamental analysis. I understand the backbone of this ad in itself. I am therefore able to say like, all right, this ad is an example, like this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Okay, great. They all have the same mass market desire. Let me put a red as an example right here. And then I start spotting patterns amongst the top ads of all of my different competitors. And now I have a much more robust advertising strategy. It's much better for me to now use that to ideate new concepts. Cause on one side, I just stole all of my best competitors ads. I've analyzed all of my best competitors ads. I've seen why those ads work by reverse engineering the process through fundamental analysis. And now I can use that to create new UGC scripts. I can use that either, you know, Atria has their own like create similar scripts feature, which I think is great to like just create a, a V1 of a new script, but like you can then create new script from there and make your own entire content as a brand. And again, this is not like, I feel like this is better than stealing, right? Going back to this code that I said earlier, good marketers copy, great ones steal. Well, the best marketers ideate. And like, if you've now stolen someone's information by analyzing their ads and you are able to ideate from there, what do you know? You're no longer reliant on a competitor's success to power your ads. You've just understood the game. You've cracked the game of advertising because you now know their fundamentals and you can repeat that for your own business. And that seriously is the only way you're going to be able to create ads like this, ads that have like 40% Tom stop ratio, ads that have like $7 CPA on a, a $70 like AOV product. You know, this is the only way you're going to be able to do that is if you actually produce ads from a fundamental analysis standpoint. So again, if any ad concept that you create follows those fundamental analysis core concepts, if you output the exact information that I shared with you in this video and you look at ads of your competitors this from this lens moving forward, you'll be in a much better spot to output winners yourself. Now, if you made it all the way through this video and you want an agency partner to create your meta, Google and TikTok ads, click the first link in the description down below to book in a call to speak with our team today. And perhaps if you want some one-on-one -on -one help and consulting, you want me to review your ads, help you produce new creatives, talk to my head of strategy and really have access to me personally and our entire team at paidadvertising.com, check out a second link down in the description below to join our ad engine one-on-one -on -one consulting program. So with that being said, I invite you to check out other videos on the channel for some more useful marketing tips, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.